you can't, you cannot, like, you know, like, man was saying, oh, yeah, he's going to get a summer window and pre-season and that, bruv. Listen, if you can't get a tune out of this team right now, what's going to change in pre-season, bruv? Nothing. This is it. This is it. I think when they said that, when they were talking about this, like, he's he's not had a full pre-season, but he had a good three, four weeks when the World Cup was on and there yeah. was, like, another break still in between where we didn't really improve. And an international and, break, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like when when the when there was before this international break when they they looked like there was an improvement, and it was but it was still the jury was still out. It was kind of like, okay, right, you're doing okay now. Let's see what happens. This Villa game rolls around and it was back to square one, and it's like right, okay, this ain't working. So it's a case of clearing it out and seeing which way we go. Again, I've said dreams would be Mourinho or Ancelotti, but look. My dreams are not rooted in reality. Reality, you're looking at probably Nagelsmann, uh, the Amarin guy, which everyone seems banging on about from uh, um, Sporting. And you're probably looking at uh, Gla Glasner guy from Eintracht Frankfurt as one that keeps... Bro, if today. you sign any of these hipsters here, you, man, are fucked. You know, like that. You can't afford to get it wrong again. No, exactly. You know, like that. You cannot afford to get rid of Thomas Tuchel, yeah? Get it wrong with Potter, then get it wrong again. You need to go for a proven, that, that tried Tuchel. and tested proper manager now. You so that, cannot afford to go the, find one of these the fucking Shoreditch there. hipsters, bruv. Like, you can't yeah. afford it, bruv. Only answer there, then's Mourinho. They're talking about Pochettino and they're talking about Enrique. Enrique, I, I don't think, is the right fit for the club. And Pochettino, I'm sorry, you know, I, I get that the E guys might not be... Well, he's dealt with the biggest players in the world at PSG. But the fact that he still somehow struggled to win a league title in his first season there and couldn't manage the people, that makes me worry. Deserbi is another hipster manager. What, mm. I don't care what anybody says about that. He's again, him and Spalletti are both flavor of the month. Mm. You know, Zerbi's a great coach, but again, he's in the same bracket as Graham Potter for me. You know, he, he's done. Yeah, well, that's why uh, he's at Brighton. Exactly, exactly. But this is why he's like he he did really well uh, at Benevento, amazingly at Sassuolo. So Sassuolo's like was I'd say it's probably the local club in the city. Yeah, it's where my family are. So you kind of got Bologna's like an hour and a half away. Like Sassuolo's like half an hour from where my family are. Sassuolo's the equivalent of Bournemouth. Mm. Like in terms of stadium size, club stature, he did unbelievably with them. Gone to Shakhtar, obviously the war broke out, so you can't really figure out what happened there. But you know, he's he's come to Brighton, he's doing amazingly. He's playing really expansive football. But again, I, I just don't think he's the right fit. The problem is, like, to get, we need to. I think Tuchel was the guy. He was, mm. and the fact that he turned around, and he, he's gone. You know. As soon as I took the barn job, the Chelsea manager became vacant. It's quite sad. Mm. The fact that he would have been willing to almost go back to Chelsea and go, look, let's make this work. It's like, yeah, he's probably oh, just didn't want to move home in it, bruv. Like, he don't love you lot like that. Come on, bruv. You know what I mean? Like, he won the Champions League. He's like, fuck it. That'll do on the CV. I don't, I don't think it's the club. Do you know what I mean? Mm. What, to go back to work with fucking Todd, bruv? 4-4-3 four, four, and that. I don't think he was fucking... Missing Todd Bowie or nothing like that. I just think mm. he was just like, oh, it's sad, isn't it? Like, because obviously, could have had a job closer to home. That's just all it is. Like, do you know what I mean? And it, for, imagine him going back as interim, you know, after, after you sacked, man. You know, like that. Or maybe because he knows Todd's got money, bro. And he said, yeah, make, I'm going to make sure I get a better contract this time, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? And make sure I fleece him again yeah. for when he sacks. Me. You it. know, I mean, who knows? Realistically, I mean, we're looking for proper managers, right? At this point, fucking just pick up the phone to Sam Allardyce. Like, I don't fucking care anymore. Bro, listen, you're in a relegation battle. That's not a bad shout. Bro. Get me, get me, get me Sam Allardyce. He, what's going to happen, right? It'll get us into Europa Conference League and become known as Samuele Aladici. That's what it would be. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no more of this Sam Allardyce from Bolton nonsense. Listen, I don't know about all that in it, but I just think you have to. I think the next appointment, you have to tread carefully, bro. Mm. You have to tread very carefully. I don't think you can afford to get it wrong again. And yeah. I don't trust um, 
aren't trust Todd, bro. Like, she doesn't know what he's fucking doing, bro. She doesn't know what he's doing. And I said that from the beginning. Like, the guy was talking way too much. And people that talk as much as him, yeah, with as little knowledge as they have, it's dangerous, bro. Because the thing is, the longer you let people talk, yeah, the more they expose themselves, innit? And, and it's just like, bro, you should have just been quiet, bro. Like, that's why when Abramovich just came in bare quiet, didn't really say too much. Man did a little wave and that and was just out here just spending bare money. Todd's out here doing interviews and that, just chatting shit, fam. Do you know what I mean? Being in Twitter spaces and all these things. See, there, there, there's certain things about that, though, that I do appreciate. I appreciate the transparency of the club and the board. And but why? Fans. Why? Well, because it, it kind of makes things piece together a little bit more for me. You know, why? Under, 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 well, under Roman, you'd be times going, why the fuck's that happened? What's going on? And you'd never find out. Whereas I think with this, it's like, okay, well, we're trying to do this. This is what this is. This is what's going on here. And obviously, yeah, you know, but you don't need Twitter for that. You don't need I to mean, be on Twitter for that. You well, don't need I mean, to be on Twitter for that. Like, what do you mean? I mean, well, how else are they going to say it? Send it by fucking letter and pigeon. Bro, nah. Like, at the end of the day, you man have, you man have what them thing called the match programs. If man want to say something to you, like, I'll put it in the programs, you pricks. Do you know what I mean? If man want to talk to you, man, on Twitter. Do you know what I mean? Like, bro, I'll be real. Like, it just doesn't make sense, bro. It don't make sense to me personally because, obviously, like, for instance, even at a much smaller scale or whatever, like, bro, even at my futsal club, yeah, it's like, bro, man ain't... I don't care what the fans want, bruv. Like, I don't care. I'm not going to ask you what you want, bruv. You know, like that. It's either I know how to do this thing or I don't know how to do this thing. I know how to do this thing. I'm not going to ask you, man, yeah? Or I'm not going to listen to what your opinions are. Because I don't care, fam. Like, it is what it is. Like, fans ain't really got much to say when you're winning. It's only when you're losing where everyone's got a fucking opinion. So just yeah. make sure we're not losing, innit? <laughs> you know, like that. That's my job. My job is to make sure we're not losing so none of you, man, ain't got nothing to say. Because if we're winning and we're performing, you man ain't going to be in no space talking shit, bro. There's none of that. Do you know what I'm saying? The fact that your fans are talking, talking, talking is because you're shit, bruv. So if I make sure we're not shit, you man ain't going to have nothing to talk about. Do you know what I mean? And that's just all it is. So why are you in Twitter spaces for? You're in Twitter spaces because you man are shit. Do you understand what hey, I mean? Listen, listen, bottom line, I'm the sort of guy who likes to be told why I've been stood up. So that's fine. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> See, but that's just, not me, though. Just send. I'm literally like, just send me a text, love. If you're gonna take the piss, then fuck. Yeah, but see, but me. the thing is, yeah, like you don't need a girl to tell you why you've been stood up. If you've been stood up, it's because yeah, she weren't feeling you, bruv. End of story. Like, there's no. You don't need to tell me why you stood me up. The fact that you're not here tells me enough. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that you couldn't even get me a text message on that, bruv. I know why you didn't come, bro. It's because you don't rate, man, bruv. Like, I don't need you to tell me. Do you understand? Like certain men, I don't know, man, what, man just like pain? Certain men like heartbreak? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, it, I'm, I'm pretty sure some of the Tory cabinet are like that. They love a dominatrix. We all you know, know what I mean? that. That shit don't make no sense. Do you know what I mean? No, what what a man, yeah. man them don't really want that. If a girl stands you up here, it's because she got a better offer. That's, that's what it is. There's nothing else to talk about. Do you know what I mean? Because girls don't have hobbies. It's not because, oh, like, she's out, like, I don't know. She's not watching the football, is she? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's what it is. They don't have hobbies like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, I'm washing my hair, bro. No, next.